Hi, my name is Dr. Adriana Galvin. I'm a professor of psychology at UCLA. And the focus of my research is on trying to characterize how the teenage brain changes. And one way we do this is to use brain scans, or it's a way for us to take a picture of the adolescent brain. And one recent project that we finished in my lab is in trying to understand how sleep impacts the developing brain. The reason for this is that sleep changes a lot during the teenage years. And in particular, after kids undergo puberty, they start to sleep less and less. And so we wanted to know whether or not this impacts how their brain functions or how their brain is developing. The way we do this is to use brain scans or fMRI to take pictures of the developing brain. And we do this to measure how the anatomy of the brain changes from childhood through adulthood. We also use fMRI to measure how the connections are growing during the teenage years. And so in a recent study that we completed, we asked teenagers to tell us about their sleep. And we also asked them to wear an actigraph, which is a, a watch-like device that measures how well you're sleeping. It measures the quality of sleep. We asked these same te teenagers to come to the lab and we took a picture of their brain. And what we found, unsurprisingly, is that the teenagers who were getting better sleep had stronger connections among key brain regions, regions that are, that are important for controlling your behavior or for um, uh, regulating your emotions, for example. But what surprised us was the reason why some teenagers get worse or better sleep. We assumed that teenagers who were on social media late into the night or who had a lot of noise or light in their room would be the ones with poorer sleep quality. Instead, what we found is that the teenagers who reported more comfortable bedding were the ones who had the stronger connections in the brain. Conversely, the teenagers who reported having less comfortable pillows and less comfortable bedding were the ones who had weaker connections in the brain. And this finding really excites us because it seems to be an accessible and easy way to improve sleep among teenagers.